Wearable Computer Networks Linux Audio Player Upgrade or the 6-Key Keyboard I really like how my portable Linux-based player has neither a screen nor a keyboard. It is just this one chain, battery, Linux, audio card. The more I thought about adding buttons, the more unpure my invention had seemed. This is a digital audio player. It is meant to be raw and clean. The keypad buttons and the screen is a no-go. Which brings us to the original problem. How do I start, stop, previous, next, and manipulate the volume? Bluetooth shutter button. You know how people take photos with a little remote? Yeah. When I bought one for my phone, I discovered it would mess with other apps. I could click send on a text message from 10 meters away. Useless, but amazing, because that meant those cheap little remote shutter buttons simulate standard keyboards. I love little useless facts like that. This particular one came in handy dandy this weekend. I connected it to my Linux-based audio player, though it took four and a half hours, but I connected it and I witnessed my final version of the MP3 player invention from 1998. The Linux goes into a snazzy jazzy fanny pack and the Bluetooth remote in my pocket. While the buttons don't stick out enough, I can make my own Bluetooth keyboard device now. It's no big deal. I like this little shutter though. On the software end, I have to read the raw Linux keyboard input to get the data. I have a perfectly functional prototype downstairs already, but it needs to be rewritten in Node.js, as I will add a phone UI or maybe a hotspot UI that can maybe stream to other phones, and a browser user interface that one can connect to with a phone. Beyond simple controls, I'll provide audio feedback when the buttons are pushed. A long press on one of the buttons can activate the main menu where I can jam a bunch of crazy Linux things. This tiny invention isn't just about audio. It's about the coming of age of portable Linux hardware. It is a pocket server. It can do anything, including phone calls over the internet. This is a modular computer device. You can plug anything into it and expand it $20 at a time across many, many years, where you can just replace whatever gets broken. It can play audio. It can compose songs. It can read you audiobooks. It can play audiobooks or help you record them. It can keep you connected to the internet, or it can become the local internet offering whatever it has downloaded. Today's phones make a person seem uninterested in real life. Connecting these little devices together, however, makes a person seem trendy and clever. Let us all hope that the cool technology of tomorrow is wearable computer networks. Personally, I hope we can all work together towards making bat belts socially acceptable and cool.